Hello, I'm Entrilisim, and welcome to Dyson Sphere Program, where I have just set up a belt, taking a little bit of this copper away from our EM turbine production and over to here. And we've just unlocked deuterium fractionation. So, between episodes, I have got us semiconductor materials and processors. And today we are going to be doing deuterium fractionation, which allows us to make deuterium, which is a heavier isotope of hydrogen. And that will be used for some more advanced technologies. But before we do that, I want to set up automated production of belts and of conveyors, sorters. That's the one. So for that, we need copper. Um, we have so much spare copper. This is way more than we need. We need like a quarter of this belt uh, that I've basically taken some of here. We need 16 iron veins and I believe that is nine that is seven going into two belts so we have two belts of iron and then this one over here uh now I believe that we need to make cogs cogs and iron makes belt we need to make circuit boards circuit boards and I think copper makes conveyors oh iron it's iron again it's always iron yeah so the copper is just used on the pcb Err, pcb 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 there we go yes copper iron pcb that's seriously the only copper we need we only need a tiny tiny bit like we need one smelter worth of this stuff so uh, we probably will just put the smelter down here. We won't even bother with anything fancy. It's just going to be one smelter here. Done. I won't even bother putting it on our production line. There we go. And then... Run those in. Now, I don't necessarily need to use two here, but I'm going to. Because I don't care. Uh, and then PCBs. PCBs are easy. Um, they need iron. And they need copper. Yeah, like I said, super easy. Um, you know what we can do? We won't make this wiggle. We'll just run them side by side. Now, downside to this is, again, we're running north, and this is going to result in things getting weird. We need to start running stuff like east-west. Instead of running north-south. This is dumb. Uh, but. If I just go double check my flow chart. We need PCBs. Iron ingots. And copper. To make a PCB. And then we also need iron to make conveyors. Well, that's remarkably easy. Because what will happen is. We need. Uh, how many constructing PCBs? 1.5. Four, so obviously two. Um, do we have second tier of this? We don't yet. Okay. One. Two. I guess I could run this way. That would prevent us having to do the whole north-south thing, which is very annoying. Uh, do we want to bother with that? No, I can't be asked. Okay. So this will take copper in. It will take iron in. It will make PCBs. We keep running the iron line, but the copper line can stop because that is literally all we need from the copper. So. Ah, wrong button. Go away. Shoot. One more there. And then out this other side. We'll do that. And that is going to be PCBs. And then PCBs and iron makes conveyors. Well, not conveyors, sorters. And we need 2.7, so we need 3. 1. Yeah. I hate this. 2. Three. Hopefully that will work. Yes. Okay. Uh, 
Right. So you are going to be making PCBs. I know they're just called circuit boards, but they're printed circuit boards. So PCBs. That's why I call them PCBs, because that's what they are. And then you are going to be making sorters. And I can just copy paste this. Boop, boop. Okay. And in theory, this should just work. The second one is going to be less interesting because it's just iron and cogs. So what we'll be doing is we'll be making cogs, putting them next to the iron. The rest of the iron flows through and then, you know, pretty simple. So if this contains iron and then this is going to be cog. And we want to put... We'll need a few more of these. How many more of these do we need? Uh, we need two making conveyors and two making cogs. So we need three more. Because we've got one. Uh, we'll give it a little bit of space. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then that's... Uh, component, cog, and then conveyor. Right. And then just start feeding them. I'm going to use level two sorters. I know we're making level one sorters here, and I'm kind of like already not using them, but whatever. And I'm just going to try and feed these incredibly fast. And then on the output... Um, and then you need input. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. I don't know if we need this many, but at the end of the day, sorters aren't super expensive. Level twos, sure. They need uh, electric motors, which at some point we'll have to automate. I know we've got some automated over here, but that's going into production of turbines. I know we've kind of automated turbines before we automated electric motors separately, but whatever. Uh, that's just how I roll. Let's put one, two, three. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. Let's just check the ratios on this. Uh, one cog and two iron every second. You need two iron every second. That might actually be tough. Whoops. Okay, let's try this, and hopefully that will be enough. They don't need to actually run at 100%. They need to run at 1.8. So they need to run at 90% each. Okay, and that should do it. Obviously, we don't have an output yet for these. Um, I'm not going to worry about doing the output until they're all working. Uh, that furnace is good. Oh, I didn't furnace this. This is actually just coming out as uh, raw ore right now. Yeah, I do need to put this through a furnace, and I've kind of cocked that up, because, whoops. Uh, that's fine, though. The furnaces, we need eight furnaces. So, what we will do is remove that splitter. And then iron is the close one. So, boop. Wait, is cogs the close one? And iron's the further one. Are you going out or in? Can't tell at a look. Hmm. Okay, there is a power point, and the power point, I think, is at the end where it starts. Let's look. Yeah, the power point is at the end of it starts, so it's actually outputting cogs of this belt. So the iron should be the other belt. That's what I get for deleting belts. Uh, okay. 
And then I've got two input and cogs here, which I kind of obviously must have cocked up. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. That's where I got confused. You know, I thought this was going so simply. Okay, so this is our iron belt. Not a problem. Damn. Uh, we will run... That as the other iron belt. And then this is the other iron ore belt. Okay, let's run this in reverse. So let's start making the inputs, which is a total of eight smelters. So four on each side of two belts. So we might as well run the belts next to each other. Set up a... Uh, yes. All right. L in. L in so they even out. And that should be enough. And then... Um, it doesn't need that much. It's four on each side. This is definitely overkill. And then one, two, three, four. Where was I? Three, four. There we go. We could use our new fancy, like, level two belt instead of running two belts side by side. But I guess I'm kind of used to not. The fancier belt would have done it. Like, we wouldn't have needed to do this, but whatever. Uh, okay. And then when they come out, they just need to go like this. Um, funny enough, it's better to cross them. Because otherwise, this has to come across near the conveyor. A uh, high height, which means it needs to go higher than normal. And then go up. Come on. And then come down. Okay. And then filter in. One, two. Try that again. And this actually... Oh, it can't. Okay, that's interesting. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And finally, I guess we can't go to there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's hook this up. I haven't actually solved our power system since last time, even though I know I said I was going to. I'll probably do that at some point in this video and I'll just cut away to it. But for now, this isn't going to draw a huge amount of power and a lot of our stuff has started to just kind of stop because, you know, it's done its job. So hopefully we'll be okay. Alright, you are going to be making copper, and you are going to be making iron. Okay, and then I think, because of this lovely gap in the middle, which was totally planned, should have plenty of power.
And in theory, this will give us four belts per second and two sorters per second. Both Mark 1s. But hey, it speeds things up. And obviously, instead of having to buy the components, well, buy, store the components in our inventory, we can just store the finished products. And we can always upgrade them manually if we need to. Speaking of which, I do actually want to make some of these uh, processors and microcrystalline components in my pocket real quick. Just because we will need them for later. Uh, eventually, yes, we will want them to be automated as well, but without much silicon on this planet, that's kind of tough. Right. Okay, that's all working. Uh, we're going to dump these into a chest. And quite frankly, one chest will be fine. For now, we'll probably want to upgrade this later. Do we not have a chest? Oh, I guess I need to build one. Okay. Right, now we have a chest. And do we want to dump them into the same chest? Sure, we can always change that later. Uh, you know what? Put the chest here. Doesn't seem like it would be a problem. Uh, you need to come back this way. You could go back that way. Yeah, sure. There we go. Chest goes there. And then... There. Alright, that'll be our sorters. And then belts. Um, A little bit more difficult there. But should be fine. And then what we're going to do here is we just rise the belt. Go over here and then decline the belt. And then we'll just do that to save on space. One, two, one, two. And because belts are four per second. How fast are you? 1.5 grid trips per second. So that gives us 4.5. Okay. Uh, and that gives us three. And we need two. So that's also okay. Okay. Let's go make the outputs. One, two, one, two. That should do three. And I believe you're built at a rate of three per second. In each of you. Well, if you were going fast. Yes, you would be. Which means you would get six. We're obviously not running 100% there. And then sorters, we get two, so each one is going to be one, so we should be okay with the one output. Oh, and obviously you. Uh, that might need two because it's further away. Okay. Now, obviously, this is not like the most efficient system. You'll see things are backing up because none of the ratios are perfect. Um, they're perfect to make stuff, but we've gone overboard on some of them. Obviously, like, you can't have 1.4 factories. And in some cases, we've needed 1.4 factories. So we've got two. So we've got, like, 6% extra production capacity. So only occasionally will this PCB be outputting. Otherwise, it's going to mostly be sitting on full stock. And occasionally dumping one out. That sounded different in my head. Um, and then this is filling up nicely. I'm actually not going to put a limit on this. I'm going to let it do its thing. We have a very low amount of conveyor belts. Yeah, that needs to... And it's a change. But luckily, it will be. And sorters. This is not, you know, not without due time. This is good timing. Yeah. Nice one. All right, how are we doing for power? Okay, could be improved. Uh, so, we're going to do deuterium next, having just grabbed that technology. Along with, before that, off screen, the two silicon technologies. Microcrystalline components and processors which allow us to make the deuterium factory. But before we set that up, because the deuterium fractionation will take amount of power, I'm just going to pop and fix our power situation, which quite frankly is going to be very boring uh, because I'm just going to build a load of mines, smelt the coal into graphite, and put the graphite in a thing and burn it. Literally, we've done that before, so I'm going to do that off camera. 
Okay, so uh, this entire area here is new. It consists of mines enough to fill three belts and a belt balancer. This is a ridiculous belt balancer. But I was like, how do I balance five going into three? So basically, I put two and two onto a fast belt. So it can take way more capacity than is needed. And then I fed those fast belts into things that connect. Well, split it into three belts, split it into three belts, split this one to three belts and have each of the three then merge again using these two way splitters. Well, two level splitters. They're four ways, obviously, but it works really, really well. So the idea is that it effectively is three inputs coming in because we basically use a faster belt to combine two. And then each three input splits three ways and then connects. So each of these is three inputs and one output. So there's actually nine inputs for three belts, which is messy. Anyway, uh, it goes to a whole load of furnaces. This should be the right amount of furnaces for exactly this. And then all of this and all of this. I may have gone a little overboard. I don't know if that's going to be too much graphite or too little graphite for all of that, but whatever. Uh, time will tell. But in case we have an excess, I am going to set up a storage system. It's going to be better than the last one, which honestly isn't hard. Uh, this one is going to use a splitter because the last one I did was very much haphazard. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect to the high level on this splitter, which... Ugh, how do I do that? Do I just press the up key? How do I maybe press tab? I mean, I've gone in the top, but how do I go out the top. There must be a, a knack to it. Oh, okay. That was easy. Uh, right, go there. And immediately dive down. And then go to here. And that's going to feed in. This is actually level 2 storage chests times 3. So this should be able to have a huge buffer against power surges. And then what we do is we come out of there. Uh, so we'll do something like that. And then we need to go up a level. There, wrong button. Go away. Shoot. And then... Connect in there. And then all we need to do is make sure that the bottom here is the preferred input and the preferred output. That way, this will only get filled if there is spare input. And if there's spare output, the buffer will make up the difference. And then... We could use a Sorter Mark III. They only use uh, a EM turbine, and we've got loads of them. And this would mean we can, you know, pull off this belt incredibly quick. Let's actually do that. Let's make a stack of these. Uh, you know what? Let's get six. Oh, it makes more than six. Right. This is going to be plenty. One. Can we get closer? Yes, we can. Okay. Do, 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 do. There we go. One. Two. Three. And there we go. That should be able to deal with the belt. But then we'll also output it at the same time. And now, although it is feeding in a little bit, what it's doing is it's making up the difference. We should be... Yeah, we're, we're collecting far more. Like, we're making excess right now that we can't actually get on here because this belt is saturated. Which surprises me. I'm surprised we can actually run all of these generators. This belt here is saturated as well. Because our input is saturated? No. That has to be a lie. Uh, we need to make a imp like approved input. Because otherwise this will go dreadfully wrong. Because it will back up our hydrogen system. All right, that is preferred input. And we're still backing up? Really? Oh, look at that. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're not even using 25% of the grid. What the hell is going on?
Oh, well, I'd have to completely rewire this to figure out what the hell is going on. Uh, but we could just tell things just fill in these storage chests, although that would be like a temporary solution. Hmm, whatever. Let's go check. If it's not backing up, that's fine. But is it backing up? Uh, it seems to be flowing for now. Oh, right. It's these mines uh, are being deprioritized over the input from here. And the input from here is just about flowing. The mines is excess. Okay, we actually got loads of graphite then. That's not an issue. So, uh, we wanted to actually build ourselves these. Fractionator. These get uh, deuterium from hydrogen. We're going to get 10 of them. So, to do this, we're going to need to pump in hydrogen. This hydrogen will get pumped in, and then we'll skim 1% into deuterium. Uh, in fact, we're not turning it into deuterium, we're just finding the 1%. Mmm. Delicious tea. So, uh, we need to find the 1%. Eat them. Don't eat. Don't eat the deuterium. We need it. Uh, so, we need to run hydrogen through there, and we need to run the hydrogen at as high a speed as possible. So I'm actually tempted to take out of this tank in a different location. Because that means we can get faster belt. That said, the input is only so fast. So in theory, it shouldn't matter. I say in theory. Either way, uh, we, we can actually pull out this end if we wanted to. But again, it won't matter because we're going to be limited to the speed of this belt. So might as well pull out here. For all it matters, we should pull out here. So... I'm going to be filling my inventory with hydrogen again, aren't I? There we go. Uh, do I not have any splitters? Dear God. And what am I almost out of? Is it is it iron? I'm out of iron again. Great. It's not anything fancy. It's just iron. All right. Let's use the normal splitter. I have so been enjoying those new types of splitters. Now I've found out what they're used for. There we go. And then that should quickly back up. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell you that uh, for now, you're going to be the prioritized output. And then our deuterium line is going to be, well, it's going to be quite simple, actually. It's going to be a circle. Because again, we only take 1% of the hydrogen turned into deuterium. The rest, stays as uh, the rest stays as hydrogen. So we can just run it around and we can do what we've got over here, a loop where it says, hey, you know, you're still going to have hydrogen on the output. You might as well just put it back into the input. So we want to set up a loop. Uh, we could go this way, but again, this would be going north-south, and that means you end up with these grid boundaries that are messy. Uh, let's do it this way. So... We'll want a hydrogen line, and we'll put the hydrogen line here. Uh, but for this line, we don't need to have any input again. Like, we don't need to send it out or anything. Because it's only going to be less hydrogen. It's not going to be more. So, we'll send that hydrogen to, like, there. We'll then put ourselves a splitter in. Put that in there. Put that in there. And then we'll definitely tell this splitter that that is the preferred input. So now we won't actually take from this line, provided this line is saturated, which it will be. We'll be losing 1% from each uh, fractionator. So what we want is this. We'll give it a little bit of space. One. And these don't need to be, like, fed with sorters. They just take a belt through. I do it perfectly. Export from the front port after fractional distillation. You may want to increase the deuterium production rate. You can accelerate the speed of materials in and out there we go. or build more fractionators. Now, fun fact, this is going to run as fast as the belt runs because we're not actually placing stuff in and doing a functional process. We're just running it through. It will run as fast as the belt runs. Really? Can I not actually put an output from here? This, this is possibly the most... Wow. Wow, grid boundaries. 
Okay. That's annoying. I guess it was just like the perfect place on a grid boundary that it couldn't do it. Um, we'll dog leg around. We'll do something with this. There we go. And this is the preferred input. There. Now this will run as fast as the belt. So the faster the belt, the better. And it will just do the fractionating. Obviously, that doesn't power. Uh, we'll hook them with power right now. They're almost out of power poles. Can we get a... No, that's too close. Okay. Uh, we'll run a deuterium line like that. This doesn't need to be a fast belt. We're like, we're making 1% on each of these. And yes, they're a 10. That doesn't mean 10%. Because it's not additive, it's multiplicative, so it probably means somewhere in the region of like 7%. And then we need power. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't left ourselves any particularly good areas to put power poles. Um, so I guess we'll run them in front like the old-fashioned days. That just can go there, whatever. Uh, there we go. There's deuterium. And what we should see is slowly this belt will accumulate as we send it more. Obviously, that this belt is taking quite a lot. Um, that should be priority input. And that should be priority output. These should always be saturated. This loop should be saturated, which means now that we should see... Yeah, more coming this way. And there's our deuterium. Look at it. Lovely. Uh, we're going to need to put this in a storage. So we need iron. Yay. I should fill up my uh, tank. We need more power. Okay. And we'll make three of these for now. We probably won't need any more. Certainly not now. And then where do we want to store the deuterium? Well, I was going to store all my liquids here, but obviously I've kind of cocked that up. So we will put... Our deuterium tank. Yeah, one, two, three. Oh, we can go four now, maybe? Thing like if I'm. Uh, yeah, right. And we'll put this. Come on. Select the damn track. There we go. And we have ourselves deuterium, which can be used for a whole load of stuff, like fusion. Not that we're anywhere near that yet. Okay, and yep, if you look at this track, you'll notice that this is solid going in. And then on the output, there are occasional breaks. There we go. Obviously, that's only going to be, you know, one in a hundred times, you know, ten of these. So, not one in a hundred times ten, but it's like, the, it's... 0.99 to the power of 10. Alexa, what's 0.99 to the power of 10? Oh. 0 0.904. Okay, that's almost that's almost 10%. Huh, okay. Either way, we're getting a good steady rate of deuterium out. Obviously, it's not fast. But it's a good steady rate of deuterium. In fact, we've managed to accumulate ourselves 135 already. And I am almost at power. Luckily, I have got graphite. Because, duh, we have a lot of graphite now. I may have over-engineered this. Let's look. How is it going? It is moving. Are we accumulating? We are slowly accumulating. Okay, we are have a slight surplus and actually that is the perfect situation the question is do we have graphite getting to the end here we do so overall power farm good condition we've got sorters and tracks being made automatically and now we have a deuterium farm perfect we're going to leave it here. If you want to go check out the Discord and stuff like that, you can do so. Link down below if you want to subscribe. Yeah, sure. Give it a try. 
But liking and commenting is great for the algorithm and always appreciated. Until next time, I've been Andrew Elysium and stay shiny.